Hey everybody, um, I'm back here at the end of the class and this assignment has to do with telling you what my um, five goals are for the next two years. So I thought about this a little bit and I think it's a really, really good question. And these are the five goals that I have come up with. First of all, I'm going to continue to put priority on time with my wife even with added ministry responsibilities, as I shared in my intro video, I am bivocational. I am the lead pastor of a church plant called Wesley Chapel. And in addition to serving as lead pastor of Wesley Chapel, I am also a high school history teacher. So things get busy. And of course, added to that is seminary work, um, which is why I'm recording this video right now. So, but in, in spite of all those responsibilities, all those ministry responsibilities, academic responsibilities, my most important ministry will always be to my wife. So I'm going to continue to put priority on my time I spend with her, making sure that we have date night together and uh, making sure that we, um, I set aside time in my schedule purposefully and intentionally to spend time with her. Um, secondly, uh, as I have shared based on Thomas's book, Sacred Pathways. My primary pathway is intellectual. So I am going to make sure I do some reading over the next three years. I have currently already read through um, volume one of uh, Tom Oden's um, Systematic Theology, which is The Living God. And over the next two years, I hope to read through volumes two and three. Volume two, um, The Word of Life. And volume three, um, Life in the Spirit. I highly recommend Tom Oden. Um, for those of you that are looking for a good systematic theology, um, in my opinion, he's the best Western Arminian systematic theolo theologian of um, modern time. He has a concise version of his systematic theology called Classic Christianity. I'll put a link to it in my post where you can buy it on Amazon. In addition to reading through that, I also want to make sure that I read through um, James Smith's um, Cultural Liturgies series. Um, recently got a gift card to Amazon and picked these up, um, Desiring the Kingdom, Imagining the Kingdom, and Awaiting the King. Um, this book has gotten a lot of press recently, and I really need to develop a philosophical theology of culture. And um, for our time, I really think Smith is the way to go. So I want to read through um, James K.A. Smith's Cultural Liturgies Project. I also want to make sure that I stay in shape. I currently work out three times a week, and I have a pretty strict diet. Um, I try to keep around um, the same weight, and uh, I want to make sure that I continue doing that. I also want to make sure I continue to get cardio in, too. I recently went to the doctor in the fall, and he told me that um, genetically I actually have high um, cholesterol. So I'll make sure that I um, stay on the treadmill, uh, working out 20 minutes on the treadmill, and continuing to hit the weights um, so that I, I continue to um, stay in shape. Um, another goal I have over the next two years is I want to learn Greek. So um, I picked up um, a copy of uh, Bill Mounce's Basics of Biblical Greek. Um, there's a textbook and a workbook that goes with it. Um, and there are courses, um, so there is a course that goes with this too. So I want to um, use the course online and I want to learn Greek. I think it will really help me exegetically when I um, take apart uh, New Testament passages when I'm preaching on Sundays, and Mounts is the guy when it comes to learning Greek. Um, so I want to want to do that as well over the next two years. And in terms of, I know I mentioned in my intro video that I do a podcast called Remonstrance Podcast. One goal I've had for Remonstrance is to get interviews on Remonstrance. So. It's one of those things that keeps coming to my mind and I keep putting it off. And there are people that I'm interested in interviewing on the show that I'm actually Facebook friends with and I have gone back and forth with them, but I never actually took the next step of saying, hey, would you like to come on Remonstrance so I can, so we can interview you um, about Western Armenian theology. So um, that's a goal I have for the next two years. I actually want to get to it and actually get some guests on Remonstrance to interview them. Um, I'm thinking um, Keith Stanglin. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of him. He's a he's a real strong um, Armenian scholar. 
Um, I want to I want to interview him, and I also want to interview um, Tom Noble, um, Nazarene theologian. Recently wrote a great book that I read this fall called Holy Trinity, Holy People. Um, good stuff. I like to get Tom Noble on there too. And rumor has it that he's actually currently working on a new systematic theology for the Nazarene Church, which the first volume is um, is anticipated to come out this year. So that would be cool if I'm able to get him on Remonstrance too. So those are my five goals. Um, continue to put priority on time with my wife, even with added ministry responsibilities, church planting, um, discipling, and everything else I do. Continue to put time with making sure I um, pay attention to my most important ministry. Reading through Odin's Systematic Theology and the Cultural Liturgies Project by Smith. Um, staying in shape. Learning Greek. Using Mounts' as Biblical Greek. And um, getting some interviews um, on Remonstrance Podcast. It's been a pleasure um, going through this class with you, interacting with you guys online. Hopefully we'll have some more classes together as we continue our seminary journey. Um, God bless you all.